Disclaimer, the views expressed in this blog are strictly my own. And this video may get a lot of hate from a certain fan base out there, but you know what? I couldn't care less because I have thick skin and I can take hateful comments. And I was watching earlier today the reaction video to the Chicago Cubs winning the 2016 uh, World Series Championship, the first championship in 108 years. And, you know, I've made fun of the Cubs throughout the years, as I'm sure many people have. You know, they made them the punchline. They've joked about the Cubs. But I have to ask this question. What was the priority for 108 years? It certainly wasn't winning. Let me explain something to you people really quick before you venture further into this. There is no such thing as the curse of the billy goat. It doesn't exist. It was never real. And all you Cubs fans believed in a lie for years and years. I want to be very clear with you on something. If you go back and you actually read what Billy Sionis said, you'll understand where I'm coming from. When he was thrown out, he said this exact thing. He said, the Cubs, they ain't gonna win no more. Let me, let me repeat that very quickly. The Cubs, they ain't gonna win no more. Did, 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 did he say the Cubs are never going to win the World Series again? Because I didn't hear that in there. What he said was that the Cubs were never going to win another game again. Did, did, did that happen? Have, have the Cubs never won another game? Because that's what Cyanus was saying. It, it didn't appear like that happened. So, folks, what were you believing in all these years? That's not what he said. He didn't say that they were going to win another World Series. That's what you people thought this was. Wow, you people are gullible. The Chicago Cubs for 108 years didn't care about the team. It has always been and will always be about Wrigley Field. That's what the priority is. That's what matters to Cubs owners. And a lot of people are going to call me out on that, saying, how dare you bash on this team? You know, you're just mad because you won. No, listen to what I'm saying quick. Remember that whole issue about the lights in Wrigley, how the Cubs were a bastion of day baseball, and that's how they do things? That that seemed to be the priority all those years over building a winning team. I mean, P.K. Wrigley procrastinated so much, he ran the Cubs like a hobby. That's not how you run a team, folks. You don't run a team and treat it like a hobby. You run it like a business. You try to build around what you have. P.K. Wrigley didn't do that. He... He decided, eh, I'm just going to run this like a hobby. If they suck, who cares? Because people will go to games. I'll generate revenue from ticket sales. Folks, did that seem like an owner who knew what he was doing? He runs the team like a hobby. Back to the lights for a second. If you were so concerned with building a team, why did you procrastinate on lights for so many years? Does, does that seem like building a team? Lights don't go to the plate and hit a ball. Players do. Ernie Banks never had anything backing him up. He couldn't do the job himself. Remember Ron Santo, another great cub? He didn't have anything. Ron's, Ryan Sandberg couldn't do a lot by himself. You can't kill your team yourself. The Cubs thought that they could. Like, ah, well, we'll just let Ernie Banks do all the work. And, you know, if our pitching sucks on oh, well, boo-hoo. No, that's not how you build a team, guys. You get what you need and you build around the players that you have. You let your fan base down consistently, years and years and years. That's what you've always done. It was never about winning. The priority's always been about Wrigley. How can you get people to go? Because it's a family-friendly ballpark. I admit that. Wrigley feels a family-friendly ballpark. Everybody's welcome there, even if, even if you're like a Cardinals fan, Red Sox fan, Blue Jays fan. You're welcome in Wrigley. It's, it's a friendly place. I'll admit that wholeheartedly. But, folks, the Cubs have never cared about winning. It was never the priority. It has never been the priority, and it never will be the priority. Let me say this about this season. Why did it take you until September to lock down the division and clinch a playoff booth? Remember the 2016 Cubs? They already had that one. In July and August, you could pretty much tell that the division wasn't going to catch them. This Cubs team, the hitting regressed so much this year. 
I mean, this team couldn't hit. Literally, for the first two months of the year, this team couldn't hit anything. And then the moment they started hitting, then their pitching just, you know, collapsed. And when they got a playoff berth and they got to the NLCS, it seemed like they took that off because where was the Chicago Cubs? See what I'm getting at, folks? They didn't care about getting back to the World Series. They just decided not to show up because the Cubs this year could have beaten the Dodgers. But they didn't want to beat them. They didn't try. They didn't give effort. I didn't see the Cubs giving effort out there. I, th I think they got swept in like five games. Is, is, is that giving effort? I mean, they, they, they literally looked like for four games they couldn't hit anything. And the game that they won, I think they won it by like one run. Okay, they won, they won by one run. They should have been blowing out the Dodgers. And you're going to tell me that, oh, man, boy, the Cubs can't hit the ball. They can't get on base. You had the same team. Where was Chris Bryant? Where was that vaunted Cubs pitching? It certainly didn't look like it was there. I, I couldn't see it. This team looked very hittable. They regressed back so much. Like I said, if this video gets a lot of hate, I couldn't care less. I'm just saying that the Cubs didn't care for 108 years. That was never the priority. It was Wrigley Field. It always will be. It will never change. And all you Cubs fans that believed in the coach of the Billy Go, I, I feel bad at how gullible you people were. That was the, one of the biggest lies in the history of sports. I feel bad for all the Indian fans who believe in the curse of Rocky Colvito. That doesn't exist. The Indians just plain suck. Okay? This year they overachieved. They were an award series caliber team. Sorry, Indians fans, but the reason your team hasn't won for 68 years is because your team doesn't have enough good players to get the job done. That's why there was no such thing as a curse. Be sure to subscribe to Walk Talk 21 for new videos every single day. Y'all take care.